So one of the reasons why my account got deleted was the phrase, you know, the media and the pharmaceutical companies just want to profit off of your ignorance. But that's what everybody does. They all profit off of your ignorance and my ignorance. Um, if you know a lot about its subject, you're less likely to be taken advantage of. So knowledge is power, wisdom is strength, and uh, when you're teaching someone something, whether you charge for it or not, you're raising their frequency, their vibration, their consciousness. My biggest pet peeve is bullying and people who teach inaccurate stuff or who teach lies. I literally have truth and justice tattooed on my chest right here, veritas aquitas in Latin because that's two ideals that I've held strong to since puberty. So I got it tattooed when I was 20 years old. But anyways, um, the factors that really matter in healing often get labeled, unfortunately, as the placebo effect. But really the placebo effect is just intention, expectation, awareness, love, certainty, gratitude, and presence. That's what it is to heal. It's not the placebo effect. This is what healing is. There are Newtonian aspects. I lay this all out in my book, Do I Have Adrenal Fatigue? It's an ebook on Amazon. We're making it a print book on Amazon soon, um, probably in the next month or two. But there are Newtonian physics levels to healing, which is like vitamins and minerals and sleep and ATP and mitochondrial health and infections and toxins and all that stuff, you know, your arms cut off, that's very Newtonian mechanical. But that's what surgical people do, that's what most of modern medicine does. However, there's also quantum physics and quantum mechanics, which is even more powerful, and that's the power of your brain, energy, lasers, lights, the sunshine to vitamin D, um, love, community, that's what keeps, generally what keeps people alive over 100 years old. It's what makes life worth living, not just staying alive. And Dr. John Martini and others, um, Tony Robbins, every coach, every healer, every doctor, every force for change rebrands these things. So whether you're ignorant to them or you're aware of them or not, I basically laid them out in my own terms so that people could become aware of it and start to see this permeate the entire existence and the entire healing process. Because the more you have of these seven factors, the more you can heal anything. So if you're not getting better, you might need more of one of these seven things. And the seven things are broken down into three most important and then four helpful. Four helpful. I'm trying to drive and do this at the same time. So the three most important, AEI, awareness, expectation, intention. The other four, love, certainty, gratitude, and presence. All are extremely important. Albus is hiding from the rain. It's actually raining with the convertible up. So those are all extremely important. So if you don't have a good diagnosis, you're not gonna get better. Like I was treating someone last year who had like a weird, really weird, very rare form of a bacterial infection in her lungs and her CT scan showed it, but the doctors just ignored her and they scheduled her out for like a bronco bronchoscopy like two months later because that's the first time she could get in. Um, even though she was suffering a lot and barely could sleep and her ear was like dripping all the time. So we were treating her with what I knew how and I did not get her better because I did not have enough awareness of what the actual infection was. I was actually treating it with natural remedies which were making a dent. They were helping somewhat. Uh, they were helping with her stress. They were making her feel a little bit better. But she needed like a heavy duty antimicrobial for that specific bug. Now that's rare, like 99% of people, you don't really need a specific antibiotic or a specific remedy for a specific bug because there's never just one bug. It's always actually like tons of bugs, but sometimes you've got hepatitis and you have to deal with the hepatitis. Sometimes you've got gonorrhea and you have to specifically deal with gonorrhea. Sometimes you've got this weird mycoplasmic infection that no one has ever heard of. That's like one in a million cases. And you have to just like do the specific treatment for that, that we know works. Because if you know it works, that's more intention and expectation. So if you're not getting better, you might need more awareness, which is why we're putting all these quizzes up on our nonprofit site. You might need more intention or expectation, like I'm setting an intention of what I'm gonna do to actually get rid of the specific awareness. And I'm gonna have this expectation that's gonna work in how much time. Then having certainty helps a lot. Being sure that what you're doing is gonna work, being grateful, um, being present, and having love. If you're not in love with your doctor, if your doctor's not present with you, Maybe you should run away. Ooh, it's starting to really rain now, so I gotta go. But anyways, um, something to think about, basically the seven factors for healing. 
Now that you know it, you'll know it forever. So if you're ever stuck, or if you know anyone who's stuck in their healing journey, think about intention, expectation, awareness, love, certainty, gratitude, and presence. Got it? Repeat it back, write it down, whatever it takes. My patient actually made me this little like trivet of it, which is super kind of her. So thank you to uh, her for that. That's beautiful. She also helped me edit the book for the fourth time or fifth time this is editing. But anyways, I love you all. Have a great day. Take care. Be kind to yourselves. Love yourself. Love others. And uh, increase your immune system. And uh, watch my videos on Telegram because um, anything about the C word or the V word is getting censored on here. So that's all going on Telegram now. And I've just got a new website, drbradleycampbell.com. Uh, I just bought the domain this morning, so I'm going to start fleshing that out this weekend probably. Love you all. Take care.